he did something to himself. He knew what nine years old uh, he could see he was going to be a very poor grown up man. Dropped the high school. He could speak Italian, but he couldn't write. He knew that he didn't want that kind of poverty anymore. And he had to do something about it. As he went out to play with his friends, uh, mostly baseball, he was. Marciano was a baseball player as a kid. He was a baseball player as a boxer. And he was a baseball player as a retired yeah. boxer. Yeah, his dad was a, was, a, was a shoemaker and... Yeah. Like if you instantly start boxing, there's more money back in the days if, is if you were an amateur uh, baseball player in that way. If you could fight, that, you could yeah. instantly make money in that way. But even if you uh, don't if, make it, you can be like a, a journeyman or somewhat. You can make money. On yeah, that uh, way. Uh, even as a journeyman, Marciano never wanted to box. Uh, even as a journeyman, because uh, as a journeyman, he would have uh, some since boxing never crossed his mind this is hard to believe because the guy wasn't brilliant what we nowadays call uh intelligent but he had some sense of uh awareness like more more, more street smart i think than than, than book smart is, is this what you're say, trying to say his uh, surroundings uh Everything, houses, the streets, uh, clothes, friends, um, food. There was a red light saying, man, do something for your life because nobody's going to. And he didn't even know what. He was doing bad in school. Like I was uh, telling you, after playing outside sun or snow, playing and running, and then he went home. And in his backyard, they had a tree. He was doing chin-ups to make his arms stronger. And he was always uh, running, uh, although he never became a fast runner. Kept him from uh, being accepted in Chicago Cubs and uh, Red Sox. Marciano got uh, kind of embarrassed when he was caught training. Mm -hmm. Because he couldn't uh, quite explain why. Hey, hey, kid, you are 11 like us. Uh, we are hungry. We go home. And you are running. You are doing chin-ups, uh, carrying rocks. And you want to beat us. You want to be the best uh, on the park. But he has an eye on the future. And uh, it's very hard to believe people telling that they ended up believing that this guy had something in the back of his mind he just didn't know quite what but uh he knew he was good at sports he had fun at sports and he had to do something for his future but he couldn't put all the pieces together oh i think, I think it's very interesting that he i mean the sports came natural but in a way that he didn't know in which sport he would excel and that somebody but one thing i know if he had to fight one round and win yeah or 13 like he did against walcott you look at his face he's fresh he's breathing normally he's bloody uh there's blood there is uh he's swollen his nose split in two and then you see that the guy has a lot of heart and it does not come from nowhere. Yeah, for sure. Maybe DNA, okay, but he's been training all his life. Do, do you like these kind of uh, fantasy matchup things or are you no, no, theorize and think how would, how would uh, Marciano fight Joe Frazier or something like that? Uh, the only conclusion I can, the only thought that uh, crosses my mind uh, in these matters is Marciano wouldn't do different, any different that he did just because he didn't know better. I think one of the points I don't like that uh, like people, they always say, yeah, Marciano wasn't big enough. He was this small. 
but in the end he had, i think it's uh, better to it's better to look at the guys and rate them by what they have achieved than like yeah he's bigger and he's better is i think it's fairer to rate them in their own era and what they've achieved like being undisputed having all the titles and stuff yeah just way more um yeah to better numbers, to rank them with numbers, some, uh, some guys cannot, would rank them different yeah i uh, the only comparison i it's just me uh, i am not saying I'm, i am the uh, right one i like to compare a fighter to himself his uh evolution and this is why i, I tell you um marciano If he kept fighting, uh, he was in a collision course with Sonny Leeson, Floyd. Uh, Johansson, Igemo Johansson. He would fight the same he did. You don't see changes uh, in 49 fights. Maybe experience and more and more uh, ability to read uh, distance. Reading distance, there's a lot to it, a uh, uh, valuable resource. So m he couldn't do much different than he did. If he didn't retire, the next logical guy uh, was Tommy, Tommy Hurricane Jackson, I think, would have been mandatory if Rocky stayed, uh, wouldn't have retired, I think. And after that would theoretically be have been floyd patterson in a way and i think that yeah. would would have been in a way interesting if if rocky stayed longer in the game and maybe i think he would he would have beaten patterson i think I, he, he the, the intelligent one the, the smart guy uh uh rocky was there for a living and i think he he had a chance should the fight Uh, last longer than 10 rounds, he would have a chance, a chance, a tiny chance against uh, any fighter. I prefer not to say something uh, I, I might be misinterpreted. Uh, Marciano, I say, was for me uh, the most limited uh, heavyweight I have ever seen. Maybe this is what amazes me. Maybe being so limited, conditioned, uh, took him that far. Maybe. Maybe uh, like his inside fighting skills. I think they're very. I think they're very good. Like, like on fighting yeah. out of the clinches uh, from Marciano. This is what he can do very well. I think. But boxing wise, yeah, it's, not, it's like one of yeah. the worst um, traits he has. Ali himself said uh, in this uh, fiction fights, he touched his arms and this was enough to hurt, to hurt Ali's ancestors back in Africa. There are many like funny stories from that uh, computer fight, like when, when he, when Ali also like knocked down the toupee of, of Marciano and Marciano got angry or something and punched yeah, a little yeah. bit harder as funny stories from that yeah yeah marciano lost his temper marciano uh, very soon started sleeping with his in winter with his windows open it's kind of reminds me of like you know like this the spartan how the, yeah. how the spartans train the children it's kind yeah, of the you, same you, thing beautiful barbaric you, 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 you couldn't put this in better words. Submitted himself into some kind of Spartan lifestyle since his uh, young age. It proved to, to be... His mother used to go to the church. She ne never, ever saw him fight. And she light one candle and pray with uh, another neighbor. The Italians are very Catholic and... That night in special, she lit 13 candles and he won in the... This can't be a coincidence, can't be. No. There's no way. I believe in providence. Yeah. Yeah. This 
this you yeah. can't explain this is no coincidence That's yeah true. I, i'm sorry uh, if i'm going uh, uh not emotional uh uh it's just that uh i believe uh lord uh honored uh, his efforts uh, yeah for sure if if you have the heart and the yeah. you are like a good good guy and try to do it the right way and it's something will come back for sure uh that was a uh a beautiful last question yeah uh, i really want to thank you for like the nice stories and all the knowledge that you could tell me and really appreciate it I would make to I would like to to make something uh, very uh, clear. Uh, I wouldn't lose the opportunity. Uh, I am a fan of Marcianos and I like uh, what he did. Not being a skillful boxer, like we all know, and. All the guys he fought and all the guys he didn't. I love them all. Uh, I have, um, I, I just like uh, when I uh, make a YouTube channel uh, with this name, uh, I would like uh, people to know I love all from uh, the guys that came uh, before him, uh, all of them, they had their style, they had their the moments, they, they, I love boxing and uh, having a channel with this name is not an excluding thing. Uh, I love Patterson, Sugar Ray, my God, Joe Lewis, you name it, I love them all. Like I think it's for me it's it's ha even hard to pick like one guy I like I watch very different guys and I think you can enjoy like most of most of most of the guys even other weight classes and stuff and yeah of course like respect to everyone who is like uh, fighting and yeah. putting serious pain to themselves and other guys just for like entertainment of of other people it's it's like a gladiator sport, so. Yeah. 